Hey, today I want to show you how to solve by 21 query and nested data structure. In this byte, you are presented with a cars dictionary of manufacturers with each have holding a list of models. And there are four functions in here that have you manipulate that data. Um, I had still some code here, so I reset that and we start from scratch. So to get all Jeeps, we need to access the Jeep in the dictionary and we can do that with cars Jeep. That will give us a list of all the models, um, but that's a list, right? And the function is asking for a string. So in order to convert a list into a string, we can join them together on any character. And in this case, we use a comma. Right, we um, still have some work to do, but the first test passed. By the way, the tests are here under the test tab. And you see for the first one, we um, had to return a string and it had to be expected, which was a comma separated list of the models. Right, for the second function, we need to get the first model for each manufacturer. So this one, this one, basically this column way to do that is to loop through the values. We don't really need the keys here. And let me write a list comprehension, which is ideal here. So model models. So I'm list comprehensions are always best from the inside out. So first, what are we going to loop over? That would be four models in cars values that will give us all these models and we want to only the first element of those so so this will loop through all the models and give us the first element and return that in a list and that's cool and then we want to grab do a case insensitive search through the data. So we want to process all the models and see if trill or whatever you call the function with is in there. So for, again, I just need values here, not the keys. So for models in cars values, for model in models, if grab lower is in model lower, make sure that both are lower. Um, and I normally do then a yield to make it a um, generator, but we um, still need to do some processing on the output because it needs to be sorted. So in this case, I'm just going with a um, return list, matching, matching models. And I just append the matching models and I return that sorted. All right. And that worked as well. And the last one is sort car models. So again, we have to do some looping through the cars dictionary and sort all the model values. Now we can keep a new dictionary, but a nice thing about Python is that you can write, uh, like a list comprehension, a dictionary comprehension. So um, as the other ones, I would write them from the inside out. So we loop over manufacturer uh, models in, and I need both keys and values now because I need to return them I need to put them in the new dictionary. So instead of values, I'm using items. Items gives us tuples of key value pairs. But the only thing we um, achieve now is to basically uh, clone the same dictionary. But with this format, it becomes very easy now to do something on the uh, values, which in this case is to sort the models as per requirement. Um, so this returns a new dictionary using a dictionary comprehension. The key I just copy verbatimly and the models get sorted alphabetically. 
and that was not quite correct yet because I'm not following the proper syntax, which of course is a tuple. And that makes the byte pass all the tests for test passed. Then at this point, you can look at the solution. One thing, this is mostly what I have done. Uh, one thing to point out, um, I had a double for loop here. There's a nice trick in Python that you can flatten list of list with a sum. It might not be that intuitive, but uh, it's definitely a cool trick. So this single line of code uh, merges all those models list in one big list, which we then can process with a simple list comprehension. And that's it. A new feature on the platform is that we have a discussion forum. So you can just join the discussion the default PyByte solution gets posted first. And with the green share your code button, you can share your code with any comments. And this way we start to have a nice conversation about the bytes.